Hey Kevin, how many times do I have to tell you that you're not allowed to park your car here? Hi Jimmy, what's the problem? I just parked my car in the parking zones for residents. Everybody in the neighborhood park there, right? Yeah, everyone can park here except for you. Why? I'm a resident here too. My family has moved here for two months already. I spent over two million dollars on buying the house here. And now you're telling me I can't park my car in a resident's parking lot? Do you have any problem with me? Oh please, you're a black dude. Who can make sure that you took that money from the legal business? Those niggers can only do, um, the most menial and degrading employment in society. So how can you earn so much money if you're a no good, gun packing, robbery, murder, and drug dealer? Jimmy, do you have any problem with my skin color? I've told you many times that I have my own company and it's doing very well. And I'm an American citizen. And just like everybody else there, I always obey the law. <laughs> You're so funny. How can you compare us, white supremacists, to, um, a freaky, smelly, dirty, and nasty species like you? Oh, don't take my words too seriously. That's just a joke. Does that kind of talk offend you? Jimmy, I wouldn't say I like the way you talk, or your joke either. So please, never say that to my family, or me, ever again. <laughs> You're so lame. I just want to create a friendly and enjoyable atmosphere. Well, I guess that's just enough fun. But about the parking lot, I'm very serious about it. You need to move now. Excuse me? Why do I have to move? I have the right to park here. Oh, you have to understand our circumstances. This used to be a very peaceful neighborhood. And only white people. But suddenly, you moved here and broke our peace. And as the mayor of this town, I need to ensure that everyone is safe. So, what's related to my parking lot? Well, you know, because there's no security at the parking zone, so... Citizens in this town are very worried that you can call your gang to come here at night and steal their car or put drugs into their car trunk to harm them. What? Why do you think I can do that? I've had no previous criminal record or broken the law. You can't just casually accuse me like that. The Browns moved to this town at the same time as us. But why didn't you tell them that? Because they're white so I'm positively sure that they're good people. To be honest, we don't want you to move here at first. Ugh. When I heard that the old owner would sell the house to you, I tried to convince him not to sell the house to black people, but only to sell the house to white people. But do you know what he said to me? That was the ridiculous thing I've ever heard. He said that everyone had greatness in them, no matter their skin. Oh my god, even now when I think about it, I still can't stop laughing. <laughs> I see nothing worth laughing about him. He said it right, don't judge a book by its cover. Oh really? But shouldn't the cover of a book show its contents? Like a horror book that usually has a cover of scary killers or monsters? And look at you. You look exactly like those monsters with your black skin. Hey, you've insulted me enough. Ah, no, don't misunderstand me. I didn't offend you at all. I'm just sharing with you our concerns and concerns about the danger your family may pose to us. Ah, one more thing I need to talk about with you too. Can you and your family please wear a mask outside and always close all your house doors and windows? Why is that? Is there any disease? Yeah, I guess so. Doctors in the town allege that blacks live in filth and spread diseases. In other words, your family's a source of pollution. And we're very worried that our children might get the respiratory illness from your house. So I hope you can tell your son to limit going out and playing with the kids in the neighborhood. Jimmy, it seems too coercive to my son and me. 
And I think you should find another doctor with more education and knowledge, because that is pure prejudice. Science is now very advanced, and a lot of studies have shown that black people are just like normal people. We don't have any diseases. Yeah, yeah, you can say everything you want. We only believe what we want to believe. So now, move your car out of the parking zone and close all your house doors. This now has been my orders, not just recommendations anymore. No, Jimmy. That's a violation of my rights. Right? You have no right. Black people have no civil rights, but obey the orders of white people. Are we clear here? I think I've told you enough. Now excuse me, I will have to prepare for the upcoming re-election. Ugh, you should follow my orders and stop wasting my time. Well, I won't. What are you trying to prove here, Jimmy? My wife told me today she went to the grocery store and butcher shop to buy food, but they refused to let her inside because she didn't wear a face mask. The shop owner said that was your order. What the hell is going on here? Oh, hi, Kevin. I thought I said very clearly before that if your family member doesn't wear a face mask when going outside, the shops have the right to refuse to serve. You agreed that you'll do as I said, but in the end you didn't. So I have no choice but to use drastic measures. I'm sorry, but this is your family's fault. No, Jimmy. You said nothing that my family would be isolated or ostracized like this. Besides, I obviously said that I wouldn't follow your unreasonable and full of discrimination towards black. Oh, I didn't tell you about the consequences if you hadn't followed my orders, huh? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. But now you know it already, right? So next time, be cautious and listen carefully to my words. I can't believe you can go that far. My son just came home from school and he even had to walk because the bus driver wouldn't let him on the bus because he was afraid my son would catch an infection. My son's covered in wounds all over and he's crying a lot. He said your son led his classmates to tease him, call him a monster and beat him up. The teacher saw it but pretended nothing had happened. Is this what you call a civilized and safe neighborhood? Oh, you are so sensitive. It's just a joke between boys. Your son is so weak. Instead of complaining to me, you should teach him how to get along with friends. Ah, no, you should change schools for him. We also don't want our kids to attend the same school as black kids. Your son will spoil our kids. Send him back to the black school. Your stupid son isn't smart enough to keep up with the curriculum here anyway. Enough said, eh? As a dad, you should have taught your son to be a good person and treat everyone equally, not discriminate against others just because of their different skin color. I'm really concerned about what your son will become when he grows up and thinks his actions are normal. You are turning your son into a racist. What are you talking about? Ugh, everything is easy to solve. Don't make things more complicated. You and your family just need to return to the slums filled with criminals and deviant hip hop. Then there will be another rich white family moving here. Everyone return to their respective positions and the problem would be resolved peacefully. So in the end, you still want to chase us away? For what? We've not harmed you at all. We just want to live in peace. We also just want to live in peace. Listen, next week, the president of a chain of five-star hotels and luxury restaurants with hundreds of branches across the country will visit the town. He's considering seeing if he can invest in this town. It will help the town become an attractive traveling destination 
for white people. And I want to run for governor soon, so I don't want to lose this opportunity. Suppose he comes here and sees that a black family is living here. In that case, he will definitely not agree to invest anymore because he thinks it's full of dirty criminals here. You're talking about X group? Yes, of course I'm talking about them. Don't you see that I've spent a lot of money to make a welcome board for X group to visit right outside my office? But how can you ensure that he's white and will be racist like you? Oh, don't use that harsh word to talk about me. I'm not a racist. I'm just... I just want people to go back to where they fit best. You always ask me ridiculous questions. The chairman of X Group is an extremely talented person. He succeeded at a very young age. Such talented people can only be white. Well, nothing can be sure. You haven't met the chairman, right? Yeah, I don't. He's humble, so I can't find any image of him on the internet because he always hides his face. Everything I worked on through his secretary, who told me his boss was very difficult. He cares about society, as well as the living environment of the places where he intends to invest. Oh, everything was still going perfectly until your family showed up. Well, now I have to find a way to get this trash out of town as quickly as possible. Excuse me? You called my family trash? Oh no, don't care about it, Kevin. I'm just whining myself. Besides, it's just a comparison, not a big deal. You know what? I think you're right. You just want this place to come better to help people improve your lives. If so, I have nothing to oppose you, right? Well, I'm in. Oh, wait. You what? I will help you to make sure this town has the healthiest living environment possible. Oh my god, are you serious? Your family will move out of this town? That's the most amazing thing I've ever heard from you. You've changed my thought about black. Ha! <laughs> they seem to be very obedient to white people too. Well, I'm full of surprises. But I have a much better idea than moving out. You'll find out soon. Huh? What are you talking about, Kevin? Where are you? Are you disappear into the air? What the hell is going on there? Are you out of your mind? Are you messing with me? How dare you compete for mayor with me? Is this the way you think to solve the problem? What crazy idea is this? Oh, hello, Mayor Jimmy. Or should I call you former Mayor Jimmy? Do you like this idea of mine? I'm sure this idea of mine can get to the root of the problem and make this town friendlier. You must stop talking nonsense and withdraw quickly from this election. The investment is coming in just 40 minutes and everything's messed up because of you. I won't let all my dedication and hard work all these years go up in smoke just because of your stupidity. You're such a daydreamer. Everyone in this town hates your family. Surely no one will vote for you but yourself. Well, no. More than two-thirds of this town's citizens said they would vote for me. People here are not stupid enough to elect a black guy to be a mayor and then lose the opportunity to invest. You're a terrible liar. Sorry, but I have to announce to you that I told the truth. In the past few days, I've been knocking on people's doors to convince them to vote for me. Although a few entries have closed immediately, many people will listen to me, and I was finally able to convince them to vote for me. What? No way! You must have used force to threaten them to vote for you, right? They would never allow a nigger like you to rule this town! One more time, Jimmy. I hurt nobody. I just sat down and talked to them. They told me they were tired of obeying a monopolistic mayor like you all day. 
You always ordered them to hate my family, even though they held no grudges against us. But they have no other way, because you are the richest man and hold all the control here. Those who disobey your orders will be chased away by all means, like you are doing to me. What? How dare those ungrateful fools talk about me like that? Without my leadership, the town would not have developed into what it is today. Those ungrateful bastards! I also mentioned the matter of school education to them, and they said they were also deeply concerned when his son repeatedly bullied other classmates, and you keep continuing spread incorrect ideas about gender, ethnicity, and race among their children. And how can a father who fails to teach his children the right awareness of human rights as a person can protect the rights of others? I just taught my son to choose the right friends to play with. Only failed parents care about these barbarians. Who knows if one day they'll harm their children? I promised them that I would change this town into a place where everyone could live comfortably and in harmony with each other without having to be wary of anyone. At the same time, I'll also do my best to make this town a better place with investments in local services to stimulate tourism demand. And because of my sincerity, they agreed to vote for me. <laughs> investments? Oh, you must be a clown. I can't help but laugh. If you want to laugh, do it while you can. You did not care about the people's interests, but only about your own interests. They told me they were required to donate an absurd amount to the town annually, but never saw you spend money on events or repairs. We all wondered where that money had gone. I... I'm the mayor. The spending rights are all mine. I have no obligation to inform you. Oh, really? Are you understand the law? But Jimmy, I really need to know where that money went to decide if I should invest in this town. What are you talking about? Invest with what? Drugs? Or guns? Oh, you poor thing. The cops will find out about you soon. Yeah, I think that too. Because I'll charge you for corruption. Ugh, you must be high to say such nonsense. Today's an important election day, so you'd better get out of here, or I'll make you miserable. Oh, it's too late. You should look out the window. I've already reached the polling place. Hey, get out of here, right now! The chairman is about to come. I can't let him see you. Wait, why is the chairman's secretary opening the car door for you? I'm just dizzy, right? No, Jimmy, your eyes can see very clearly. My secretary just opened the door for me. That's right. So, so you are Mr. Robinson? Yes, Mayor Jimmy. I would like to introduce myself one more time. My name is Robinson Kevin, the chairman of X Group, and also your rival candidate for mayor this year. No, this must be a prank. There's never been a way for a black guy to be so rich. You're just a bunch of fucking rats polluting the world. Well, judging people due to the color of their skin needs to be lifted from society. Skin color should not be a metric to categorize people, Kevin. I think you already know the result of this visitation, right? But don't worry, I'll still invest in this town. Not with a role of an investment, but the role of the mayor. No, no! Hey, get out of here! This place doesn't need money from a nigga! Get out! Oh, it's time for me to come onto the stage and speech. Hope you do it well. No! No! You're a freaking monster! Then I was elected and became the new mayor of the town. Jimmy seemed obsessed with power, so he couldn't accept the truth and went on a rampage after the election ended. But unfortunately, the police arrived in time and took him away. The first thing I did when I became mayor that traces the money Jimmy had corrupted the people and then returned them. 
At the same time, he denounced his abuse of rights and positions to corrupt and oppress others. Ultimately, he was sentenced to five years in prison and banned from politics altogether. I guess this is really a big lash out for Jim. I've also fulfilled my promise by reorganizing the education system in schools and organizing more education classes on equal rights. At the same time, invest in restaurants and hotels. The town is now becoming an attraction on the tourist map. More and more black families are moving here and all residents are welcoming and friendly. I'm happy to see that everyone can live in harmony with each other like this.